Hi there, welcome to my channel. So, you want to create an interactive activity that you can assign to your students for one of your lessons? Well, why not do a drag and drop activity in your virtual classroom? Drag and drop can be used for labeling activity where you have a picture or diagram that your students can label the parts using pre-made text box labels. To begin, we will open a blank Google Slide document to create our drag and drop labeling activity. Click on new, presentation, then I'm going to go ahead and delete the default text boxes and X out the themes. So before we begin designing our drag and drop activity, I will need to decide what items or aspects of my activity that I want my students to be able to move around or manipulate and which ones are locked. Please be aware that currently, Google Slides will not allow you to lock items or pieces in your Google Slides. However, there is a hack that we can do to lock the items that we don't want our students to move. We actually have used it before in one of our video tutorials. You still remember? Now let's go ahead and get started. For this sample drag and drop activity, I will be doing a cell analogy labeling. So the first item I will need is a picture that will represent the cell. So let's go to the web and find this picture. So it looks like this picture is going to be perfect for our cell analogy drag and drop activity. So let's go ahead and copy this and transfer it to our Google Slides. By the way, I started with a picture because this is one of those things that I do not want my students to move in the drag and drop activity. Another thing that I do not want for them to move is the direction. And so that's the next thing we will put in our slides. So let me put my direction. To do that, I'm gonna click on insert text box. Then I will format my text box before I type in my direction. I want it centered. I want this font style. And I want it bold. So now I can start typing in my direction. I will also change the color of my font style. I will also need to add some items in my picture. picture and direction in place, we can now lock these items. To do this, I'm going to save this slide as a PNG or JPEG image. Go to File, go to Download, and select PNG. Or JPEG if you prefer JPEG. Now I'm going to open a new blank Google Slide document so I can save the original picture and directions. And so if I made a mistake, I can go back and redo my lock items. Let's go ahead and upload the downloaded PNG copy of our slide. Go to background, choose image, then browse and upload the PNG file.
So now we have added our picture and directions as a background image of this slide. As you can see, these items are locked and that our students will not be able to move it around. Then I will go ahead and add my cell parts label and my analogy labels. To create these labels, insert a text box Type in any cell parts. And style it into a format that you like. So for this one, I'm going to change the font style to a uh, matic. I'm going to keep the font size, which is 14. Make it bold. I'm going to change the border, the thickness of the border to a uh, 2 pixel. I'm going to change the color it's, um, to color to black um, and then I will fill my text box different color and then resize it. Then we can copy this text box for the other cell parts label. I will also need to create another set of text box for the functions. Before we move on to the next part, please be reminded that our drag and drop Google Slide activity cannot be completed by our students in present mode and has to stay in edit mode so they can really drag and drop the labels that we have created. There are actually other types of drag and drop activities that we can make. We can create a variety of drag and drop charts for organizers if we want our students to sort out things into two or more categories. We can also insert different types of graphic organizers like fishbone, a t-chart, or a Venn diagram where our students will be tasked to compare and contrast using and still use utilizing the drag and drop activity. We can also utilize a drag and drop for a math activity where students have to complete an equation or evaluate inequalities. Now let's try our drag and drop. One last thing before we finish up, make sure to teach your students first the basic tools in Google Slides, like an undo button, before starting your drag and drop activity so they can correct their unwanted errors. That's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to leave me your comments, like, and subscribe to my channel so you will be updated in my next video tutorials. That's it for now. I will see you next time.